Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I don't usually vlog on Sundays, I don't think. Well, sometimes I guess if I'm lounging around the house, but I felt like vlogging today, so why not? So I just made myself a coffee. It is extremely, extremely full. I just sat down at my desk. I've got everything ready to go. Got my breakfast, got a banana and a bar, and I'm actually about to hop on a Zoom call with my friends. I'm so excited. So Leah, Jessica, Alexa, and I are getting on a call to plan our reunion sneak peek it's got to happen we're all fully vaccinated now so we're all gonna make sure that we are getting together safely and responsibly and we're just all really really excited so we're gonna plan something out i can't freaking wait i don't really know what else we're gonna get up to today i am really craving just like a very slow sunday we had some friends over last night and they were here until like 12 30 or maybe we went to bed at 12 30 either way um it was late it's a late night for us it's funny because like when you get older i swear to god staying up late affects you way more than drinking alcohol does like you have way more of a hangover from staying up late than you do drinking it's hilarious hi good morning say bye you can't hear them but they're saying bye yay we're united all right just got off the call it has been like an hour and a half and it's gonna be sooner than you all think, let me just tell you that. We are reuniting and I'm so excited. So I'm going to enjoy a little bit of a relaxing Sunday. I might go play some Donkey Kong, spend time with my love, and um, we'll check in in a bit. But in the meantime, we have a trip on the books. It's going to be epic and I'm so excited. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Actually, why did I just say good morning? It's literally like 2 p.m. Hello? I think it's like one something. I don't know. Anyways, hello. It is the next day and I have been running around crazy all day as I do. Got some work done this morning, then went and got my nails done. Just went for a nice blue. I might add some daisies later. I don't know. I, since the smiley face debacle, I've been kind of scared to ask for nail art. So I'm like, maybe I'll just do that part myself. So I don't know of many Phoenix places that are good with nail art or like the nail art that's popular at the moment. So I was like, Drew has a little dotting tool um, in his painting set. So maybe I'll just try that on my own so we'll see but I'm gathering some stuff to film a video because well actually let's talk we can just sit down right here on my bathroom floor that sounds great there's no like reason we don't need to like talk I'm just like I just wanted to sit down <laughs> to hold my camera out like this, but I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I am going to Nashville. I haven't been to Nashville in like over two years, but I haven't seen my dad in like a year and a half. It's been way too long. It makes me really sad. I haven't seen my dad since December of 2019. That is crazy. And now that we're both fully vaccinated and I'm just feeling a little bit safer about travel overall, and now that cases are dropping at least where I live and where my dad lives, we are feeling safe and comfortable enough to see each other. So I'm really excited. My best friend from back home is also fully vaccinated and I haven't seen her in like two years. So I'm just really, really thrilled. I don't know how much I'm gonna be vlogging. I'm definitely gonna vlog a little bit, but I'm also just gonna like enjoy my time. Um, because this is like, you know, very sacred, special time to me. I'm pretty sure it's actually gonna rain the entire time, but I honestly don't mind at all because it literally never rains here. So if you would have asked me back when I lived in Nashville, I would have been like, oh, I hate rain, I'm so annoyed. But honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to that. So that'll be wonderful. And I'm just excited to rewrite with my dad. Like this time tomorrow, I will be with my dad. And if I think too much about it, I will cry. You've seen me cry when talking about reuniting with my dad. So we're not gonna go there, but I'm just very, very excited to see him. I just give him a big hug, oh my God, I can't wait. And then, um, yeah, we're just gonna like lay low for a few days. I'm only going for like three days. It's a pretty short trip, but my dad has work stuff. I have work stuff. And then pretty shortly after, I will be going on another trip. So it's kind of like three trips back to back, which I definitely don't want to give the wrong impression. Like I'm still being very careful. I'm still wearing my mask everywhere. I'm not like seeing a bunch of people. I'm not going to crowded gather 
gatherings. I'm seeing like one or two other people at a time typically and I'm keeping it very, very safe because I, I know that I'm fully vaccinated and I don't need to like explain myself, but I do feel it's important to mention the fact that like, yes, I am going to be traveling a little bit here in the next few weeks. I just went to Laguna, I am going to Nashville and then I will be going somewhere special with some people special. We talked about it, but I'm not gonna give like the full details away yet. But yeah, I just wanna acknowledge that I'm still being safe. So that is very important to me. As you all know, I've been extremely serious about safety for the last year and some change. And to be honest, I've developed like an intense anxiety around the pandemic. So the fact that I'm even able to like get out and do this stuff is pretty amazing. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, I'm gonna go film a video. I am feeling very low energy today. I think it's because I feel like I talk about this in so many vlogs, but Moo is just like on one lately with his middle of the night crying sessions. Last night he cried because a stray cat got in the backyard and he was like literally trying to kill it through glass. So that was fun. It's affected my sleep. I'm not great at falling back asleep after things happen. So this clip is boring. Just wanted to say, hey, checking in with you. This is a very like night at the Roxbury top. I got it on thread up. I actually really love it. I I think we're just gonna lay like super low tonight. I definitely don't wanna vlog tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I literally get on a plane at like 7.30 a.m. and I will be headed home. I can't freaking believe it. I will probably be editing this vlog on the plane. Crazy, crazy times. <laughs> hours later oh my god i'm wearing tight jeans look at me sitting down again wow that was also not a graceful sit down but that was very real because you know mom jeans this frame listen we're just rolling with it it's gonna you know clean up the mess that i just made because whenever i film whoa baby is it a mess usually i will just leave it in a pile on the floor for the next time that i film and i don't want to do that I don't want to make a mess. I want to be, have it cleaned. When I come back, I don't want to feel overwhelmed. So I'm doing that now. I'm probably actually going to start packing. So I might show you a little bit of that. But yeah, um, I feel really good about the video that I filmed today and kind of touching on what I was discussing in my last vlog, which was just having those moments where you're feeling kind of eh about yourself, just sort of acknowledging that it's happening and then letting it go. <laughs> like letting it go because it doesn't serve you. Not forcing your way out of it, but just kind of being like, okay, this is a thing that's happening and it will pass. Going along with that, I was hesitant to film this video and actually <laughs> my main channel videos recently have been causing me not stress, but just, I feel like I'm never saying it right. I'm not educated enough on what I'm talking about when it comes to like body image. I'm always kind of doubting myself and being like, what's the point? Like so many people say it better. And you can offer your perspective and you can share what you know and share your truth and your journey and it's valid. And so I just kind of wanted to like remind you of that. It has nothing to do with YouTube in general, but just in life. Just because you're not like the smartest or the most knowledgeable about something or or an expert by any means doesn't mean that your experience isn't valid or that your perspective doesn't matter or that you know what I mean like I don't know I I just am really really glad I went ahead and filmed this video and I was like at the beginning being like you're not saying it right you need to cover this this and this and then I was kind of like just speak from your heart like this is your channel this is your platform just speak what you know to be true and the rest will follow so yeah I mean sometimes I kind of question myself in this phase and be like do I even talk about body image stuff anymore? But it is something that I currently am dealing with. So I like showing that through fashion, you can kind of take some of your power back from society, the man, if you will. I don't know, I'm definitely just ranting, but I'm just really happy that I didn't listen to that voice inside my head. And I decided to just go ahead and film this video because I had a blast picked out some really cute outfits and now I feel better. Like I feel better than I did before I started also. <laughs> getting up with mom jeans you know is a thing something my dad always talks to me about is just that like all he knows how to be is jeff dayton like he doesn't know how to be anyone else that's all he's ever known to be and that's kind of where i'm at like i oftentimes compare myself to other people the way i talk sometimes the way i look the way i set up my vlogs you know etc and i just all i know how to do is be carrie dayton so that's 
what I'm gonna do. So that's what I did today and I'm happy about it. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. I kind of set out some stuff that I'm gonna pack with me. So I'm gonna do some of that and then I'm gonna have a nice lovely night. So let's get started with that. I don't even know what that rant was, but hopefully it made somewhat sense. Basically just like be yourself and you're great and wonderful. Okay, love you. First things first, I've got to get out of these mom jeans cause you know, why voluntarily be in them if I don't have to be? So we're gonna change into pajamas cause that's what we do. Are you like a change into pajamas the second you walk through the door type of person? Like I obviously am, am in the door pretty much at all times, but like when I'm done with work, the first thing I have to do is change. So let's fix that. Oh, that is so much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna go downstairs and get my suitcase. I'm gonna try to be indiscreet about because Layla does not like when we pack. It makes her very stressed. In case you're wondering too, like why Drew isn't coming, he has to work, so he's unable to take some time off and I just need some time with my dad, so. Okay, oh boy. Here is the situation <laughs> in this closet. We have so much stuff. We have kid stuff for when Drew's nieces come over. We have Christmas decorations. We have our uh, TV box that apparently we still haven't broken down, but this is what I am looking for. Now let's pack this baby up. I always forget until I open this suitcase, which is on the floor, by the way, that I have this thing and I never know where to put it. It's called a muscle hook and you like take it and you rub it on your back. <laughs> and I sleep on my sides. So a lot of times my shoulders will get really sore you just like rub this thing on yourself. Incredible. I have these little packing cubes. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, but I'll use some. I'm also gonna pack an extra bag in case I get stuff when I'm there. I might go thrifting or something, we'll see. That is Drew stuff. This is the bag that I always take with me on the plane. So I'll put like my whole purse in here, my laptop, phone, etc. These were our like little neck pillows that we bought for our flight to Japan. They didn't really work that well and packing cubes oh my god this has like all of my stuff in it wait what the heck this is left over from my trip to laguna there's like underwear and socks in here oh my god i was looking for these i was apparently in my tiredness not even fully unpacking so okay fully recognize that that angle was terrible okay so like literally these clothes in here never been worn very clean so we'll keep those i have my little pile over here of stuff that i need to pack bad angles but we're going with it okay got some sleep shorts got my Spanx in case I wear like a dress and they're more for bike shorts less for Spanx purposes we have some clean underwear clean socks I actually need to put a few more pairs of socks in here but I'm doing laundry at the moment so got some sports bras to sleep in I have to sleep in like a comfy bralette let me know if you're the same got a couple pairs of leggings just for like lounging got two pairs of like actual pajamas. So those are ready to go. In fact, we'll just put them in right now. Why not? For outfits, here's what I'm thinking because it's gonna be like, I think 85 degrees. I need to check again, honestly. It's gonna be like in the 80s and a low of 70, but it's gonna be pretty much raining the whole time. So eh. the weather in middle Tennessee is so unpredictable though. So I'm going to bring some backups just in case I'm going to do a couple crew necks. So we'll do like a crew neck and leggings type of situation. So we have my Martha's vineyard, which I thrifted with Macy when we went to like some vintage stores in Burbank, another oversized one. This one's like a custom tie dye. That's really just kind of faded to nothing, but it works. Drew is not going to be happy about this, but I am taking the Oregon sweatshirt because it's mine. <laughs> I thrifted it and he likes to wear it a lot, but it is mine. I'm gonna bring a pair of shorts, like a singular pair of shorts, just in case. So I got these from Madewell. They're called the Perfect Jean Short and they're wonderful. I'm just gonna do like a couple of little cutesy tops. I'm not really planning on doing anything, like I said, but just in case, I don't know, my dad's like, you wanna go get lunch or something? Sit on a patio somewhere, I have something to wear. So I have options. And then I am also gonna bring just some jeans. These are from Abercrombie. I haven't gotten to wear these yet, so I'm gonna attempt those. If you can hear that squeaking, it's this freaking light. Ugh. I think it's gone now. <laughs> Okay, it's a little while later. I've got mostly everything packed. I'm just waiting on a couple more things I'm gonna grab just like a couple sundresses that are in the dryer throw those in there a couple more t-shirts a couple more of my What are these called? 
makeup erasers. I'm gonna put those in this little cube. I have my skincare, bathroom stuff, hair tools. I have my extra bag under there. Got some shoes. I brought like a pair of sandals and a pair of Converse and then I'm gonna wear my slides on the plane. Got my underbunders as my mom likes to call them. Relatively enough stuff. I had to put my makeup bag in that bag but that's fine because I might put some makeup on on the plane perhaps. I don't know how that's gonna work with a mask but we'll see. Ooh. I need to get some masks too. I'm actually gonna go run and grab those. And I think we're all set. I think that's gonna do it for this vlog because I really just wanna have a night with Drew off camera. So love you all so much. I can't believe the next vlog I'm filming, I'm gonna be seeing my dad. I will see you very, 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 very bright and early when I'm going to Nashville. She's going back home. Woo! See you soon.